Scorpio, how you doing? Making plans, taking numbers and talking a lot is pretty much your channel messages uh, for the first week of uh, July. How you doing, Scorpio? So I'm hearing, well, I'm making plans. Well, at least we've got a plan. At least we know what we're going to do. So some of you might be going away somewhere and you're like, well, look, if we just pencil it in and just discuss where we're going to go or what we're going to do, then we know exactly where and when. Some of you, uh, Wendy, the name Wendy, or I'm also picking up Miller, Wendy Miller, but Miller, okay, um, but they're saying that I'm making a lot of plans, talking a lot, and penciling it in of where we're going to go. So that might be, like I said, you might be going on holiday or planning on going on a trip somewhere, like going away for a little bit. But they're actually saying going away for a little bit for not long, because they're saying every little bit helps. So something to do with Asda or Laura, but like, um, so, <laughs> so it could be dealing with a Laura or the law, okay? But um, yeah, they're saying that every little helps, every penny helps. So some of you, you might be called Neville or Noel or Noel, Noel or helps. Uh, Joanne, I'm picking up Joanne helps or Joe, Joanne. Okay, but um, every little helps. So some of you, you might be like buying, selling things. You could have something to do with around a two or a Libra, like Life Path 2. Anyway, sorry, Scorpio, you can watch this as an Aries also, okay, but or a four. Any placement of four, wherever it be, but you have to follow the videos below to know what I mean. Okay, but four. So Scorpio slash Aries, Life Path 4, or a number that adds up to four. Okay, karmic number. So um, they're saying that you might be buying and selling a lot of stuff, like trading, trading places, that you might be buying something, trading something, and then once you've bought something, you trade something in. Uh, or training, they're saying training. Teacher training day or uh, gymnasium, like training, uh, a trainer, personal trainer, personal, I don't know, life coach, life coaching, training. Uh, it, some of you might work for the schools or something like that and you need to go for a certificate to train or like a teacher training day for a lot of you. Okay. Um, yeah, but I keep hearing that something around training, 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 training. Like training for a fight. <laughs> you, know, you might be training for a fight. You might have a fight coming up with a, well, you're polar. You're polar. Okay. Um Bipolar as fuck is what I'm hearing. So you, you could really have a placement there of like a two or something like that or someone that you really don't get on with. That's obvious. That's in every single reading. So always look for your polar, your opposition, the person that you're going to fight with. So like I said, it feels like I'm training up for a fight or I'm training to get fit or I'm just like biding my time for this to, for a fight to come up. Now, a fight can either mean a physical one or a mental one or just basically someone that you really don't get on with and that you're trying to annoy, uh, trying to annoy, <laughs> they're saying that you're trying to annoy someone, Scorpio. So that might be a feminine energy watching for a Scorpio knowing, saying, yeah, they're very annoying. So, uh, but I don't know, like I said, you know, there are so many paradoxes in readings that you may not understand. Like I said, my opposition in life is a life path number four, okay? So numbers that add up, it depends where you are. I'm a Scorpio rising, okay? So look for your opposition of number, but the, the message itself, okay? Don't relate everything to, to one thing. It's not possible. So you could be dealing with a thing. That might be Stephen or another Steve or me. Okay, but uh, I'm dealing, 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 dealing. Uh, so you could be dealing with a car, <laughs> a carry, a car, Cara, Tara, but like um, a tarot card reader, something like that, okay? So you might be dealing with someone that's a tarot card reader, or you might be dealing cards yourselves. But like talking a lot, talking, 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 like phone calls. I don't know if any of you take a lot of calls, like, like I'm taking a call, hello? Yeah, or you're like constantly on, like, because I'm picking up Amber Dexterous. So the name Abby or Amber, Amber, like an Amber Alert is also what I'm hearing. So I don't know if this is David, David Gray, because I'm hearing all the lights changing green to red. So something like something that flashes quite a lot, like I'm seeing a lot of lights flashing. Okay, so I don't know if this is like a disco or a party, or it might be a Cantarian's party that you might be going to, or like something where lights flash quite a lot, like a lot of flashing lights. So some of you, I'm actually picking up where you might work for a school, and these children are like, um, I don't know, when I, used to, when I used to work in schools and stuff, because uh, they're getting me to look at it, is just make sure the audio is recorded. Man, I've done this for Gemini, and I'd, <laughs> I'd forgot to actually press record. <laughs> um, so Jeremy, red means recording, but like music and stuff like that. But when I used to when I used to work, um, when I used to work for children, they used to have this day daycare centre type sort of thing. And if they had an episode 
they would go into a, this room where there would be like meditation music and so on and so forth and it would calm the children down so some of you might be into meditation but again meditation is not going to move the planet okay it relax you but it will not move the planet it will not stop karma or make it any good or worse it, it won't it won't really matter meditation is just something that helps you relax okay it really is it will not move a planet okay nothing that can ever get rid of your karma i've said it to a, quite a few other readings just lately an arsehole is an arsehole, okay? If a person's controlling, they're controlling. Embrace being the sphincter, okay? Watch the Libra reading, <laughs> right? But uh, embrace being an arsehole. If you are one, great. Learn to love yourself being an arsehole. It doesn't matter what you are. What The last thing that you ever want to do is hate yourself, okay? That's the worst thing you ever can do, is get confused. Am I an arsehole? Am I stubborn? Am I arrogant? Is anybody else? Who gives a shit, right? If someone's a nut, there are not. So what? You know. So do you know what I'm saying? So the best thing to do is learn to live with whoever you are. If you are this, embrace being that. If you're a sphincter, well then speak out of it. Make sure it's that one and that it's this one. Okay. So do you know what I'm saying? So um, <laughs> anyway, I'm picking up like this uh, energy of, um, like I said, it's speaking, talking, but like flashing lights, like a daycare centre, but something that may be like a. Um, because they're picking up Epcot Center. Epcot Center, well, that's Australia, the Epcot Center. Uh, is it? No, the Ep oh, actually, I went to the Epcot Center. That is America, right? It's like, um, where is it where you have Mickey Mouse and all that shit over in America? <laughs> but um, they have a place called the Epcot Center, right? <sighs> Popular belief, I actually came to America when I was a child. And uh, yeah, we went to the Epcot Center, Water World, all that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, we actually got pulled over by the police and they actually got a gun out, fripped me to death because I was like, I was like eight. <laughs> and I've never seen, never seen a gun in, in in my life at all. Like you know, in Britain, you know, we just stab people up basically. But like, uh, no, we don't have guns and all that sort of stuff really in the UK. So um, yeah, we got you know, she says, please step out the car, ma'am, and she's going off her nut. So you could be dealing with a John, <laughs> John or McGinn or McCartney or anybody that's muck. Okay, but anyway, so this flashing lights thing, it might have something to do with music. Saying that to believe it popular, but if it's something actually I'm going to buy because I'm picking up like a, <laughs> I'm picking up like a lot of flashing lights. So for me, that message is going to be a deluge when I buy a deluge. But like um, like flashing lights, all the lights are changing green to red. So you might be travelling quite a lot, and there's a lot of like stop, go, stop, go. You could be dealing with a seven, a life path number seven, um, anywhere of seven, uh, or a Cancerian for some of you. Okay. Um, but they're saying like all the lights are changing green to red, green to red, green to red, green to red, 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 ram, Virgo. So it could be dealing with a Virgo. Here's Johnny, Johnny, Julian, Chase, Justin, Jasmine. <laughs> if you haven't seen my channel before, I'm going to confuse the shit right out of you. Okay. Um, but sorry, I think I've got a mark on my face. I don't know what that is. I think it's just a CPAP kind of man. <laughs> How's your CPAP going, Steve? Not so bad, actually. I'm feeling quite a lot better. But, uh, yeah, I need to make sure I keep it on. Uh, I ain't going to go into that. I'll probably do a video about my uh, upcoming events with the CPAP. <laughs> but, like, uh, yeah, for for a lot of you, like I said, you could be doing something like that that is, like, involved, you know, what I'm doing, CPAP, masks. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini, which, is, which would be a six. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're going to leave it at that, okay? Uh, but they're just a few at the moment. I'm not doing them separately this this week. Next week I will. But the first week, because of the monthlies, I can't keep up. Okay, so I've been doing channel message separately, tarot reading separately, blah, blah, blah. And then people can pick and choose whatever they like, you know, whatever. Hopefully both. The name Trevor, I'm also picking up Trev or Tracy, okay, or anybody beginning with T. 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 You right, T? Actually, someone that's actually called T. They're called something, but somebody calls this person T for short, like whatever it is, like Tatiana or, or something, but they call this person T. All right, T. <laughs> but like, um, or you could be drinking tea, herbal tea, tea, they keep saying tea, tea, tea for two, two of cups, two of cups, keep saying two of cups, the two of cups. Did you know, believe it, popular belief, that there's actually a synthesizer, well, modulation matrix system called the two of cups. But like, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups. You really could be dealing with some like Jeremy. Um, but like Two of Cups, Two of Cups, Two of Cups, Two of Cups. 
or a modulation matrix type sort of thing, a bit like the deluge. Some of you, like I said, you really could be doing anything musical uh, and stuff, but I mean, right here, right now, <laughs> right here, right now, <laughs> but like, uh, like some sort of dance musical stuff like that. I mean, you can't never really see all of my equipment because it's all over the place. But then this is a Korg. Uh, is it a Wave? I can't remember. Wave Station, Wave State? I can't remember. Uh, wave State. Wave State. So I've got plans to use that with the Deluge. To plug that into the Deluge, okay, and then record patterns and stuff from that onto the Deluge. And then, ah, pff, don't worry about it. <laughs> but if you like my music, you might like Angel Radio, okay? It's on another channel and also this one, but Angel Radio. Um, you can find it in the link provided below. Free music, bruv. Free music, okay? But it's... Uh, Anyway, uh, so you might be doing things like that. Like I said, you might be looking into music because I can see flashing lights, whatever it is, like a lot of flashing lights, a lot of lights, disco, party, I don't know, or an event somewhere where there just seems to be like party lights, party lights, party, party light, hold on, party light, pa party lights, party, <laughs> party, Wayne's World, Schwinkter. <laughs> so you could be dealing with like a Libra, a number two, or wherever those came up. Um... Because I think I called it that. Um, a sphincter says, what? 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 <laughs> this person could be deaf. Or Steph. The name Stephanie or Steph. But like, deaf. Deaf. Darth Punk. I'm also hearing Darth Punk. Darth Punk. Or Darth Fader Luke. The name Luke. Or Luke Skywalker. Or the name Walker. Or Sky. Tyler. Tyler. Skyler. Skyler. Tyler. Walker. Okay. Some of you might want a walking aid, okay, or a hearing aid. That's probably why. What? A sphincter says what? <laughs> a hearing aid. Some of you might ha need a hearing aid or, or something, or you've got a hearing aid, or named Adrian. But um, uh, what were the other uh, things that I was picking up there? Uh, names. Uh, oh, I don't know. I think I said them right. <laughs> I was just going to say them again, basically. Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine. But like... Uh, Jeremy, Jack, Jackie, Jackson, Jacksonville, Summer, the name Summer, 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 or Somerset, somewhere, some, somewhere that you might be planning on actually going, might be where the sun sets, when the sun goes down, some of you could be dealing with a Leo, or slash Aquarium, eight, okay, but you might be going to look at the sunset, Okay, so you might be like going to Somerset or Dorset. You might be from Dorset and you go, all right, my lovers, that's pretty much how they would talk up in Dorset. How are you getting on there, my lover? You all right? You could be dealing with a, a lover, which might be your mother, <laughs> but it might be a uh, grandparent or something, but the lover's card, so a Gemini for a lot of you. But all right there, my lover would be up in Scorpios and saying like that, like, hey, up there, my friend, how are you doing? <laughs> that's how they speak up in Dorset. <laughs> Steve in there a little bit how you speak no bruv I'm near London <laughs> well, like, well I'm halfway between somewhere well heaven and hell basically <laughs> purgatory so you've got to be dealing with a Virgo you've got to be dealing with that nine energy somewhere <laughs> in that typical in that typical just as st things start to happen to you I'll go and fuck it up is what I'm hearing <laughs> so uh, I mean everybody deals with denial or Daniel Dan 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 Dune da Dana Dana Tanya, Darnell, Darnell, I'm hearing Darnell, Donald, Donald, and Donald Donaldson, hello, hello, Belinda, is that you Belinda, Burr. 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 hello, <laughs> so some of you might do things on the phone, or you like phone jacker, or Jack, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, Jackie, Jackie Brown, uh, Jeremy, um, Julian, here Julian, Hooligan Juligan is what I'm hearing. Hooligan Juligan. <laughs> or Julie McLoonan. There you go. Julie McLoonan. Muck. There's the muck. Julie McLoonan. Um, but anyway. Bella? Was that you, Belinda? Burr. Belly. Huh? Hello, is that Donald? Yes. Can you tell me if my wife's in, in there talking to another man? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does anybody watch Phone Jacker? Hello, this is Donald. Yes. Hello, can I help you, sir? Yes, can you tell me if my wife is in there? Why, what, what, what do you mean? Well, she's sitting there. Is she talking to another man in this restaurant? Um, oh, I don't know, sir. We can't really say at the moment. We're very busy. Well, tell me. Please, tell me. I need to know. She's sitting there with a straw hat. <laughs> I 
Oh my God, she's with another man. Can you tell me, please? She sits there with a straw hat and something shoved right up her backside. Can you tell me? So, ooh, where'd that one come from? Some of you, sorry, sorry, this is where my third house takes over Scorpio. Aquarian, I ain't got a filter. <laughs> right? So sometimes things just slip out. Okay, so you might be in the same sex relationship there. I'm so sorry for the, such of the, like, the pun thing. But, like, uh, yeah, something shoving somewhere or something like that. I don't know. This, whew, throw the keys away, Steve. Stop digging yourself a hole. Uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, definitely, for, but you are one. So you might be dealing with, like, a Aries, another Scorpio, or something like that. Anyway, let's get on. Whew, uh, so, Scorpio... Fucking make sure this red's recording. <laughs> so, sorry, but if you don't know, I was looking this turned off television screen here and it gives a red light off to say that I can record. So some of you really could be recording something like that, like recording artist or a piss artist or like a uh, ass, ours. Oh, yeah, y'all could be doing something there. But like, um, uh, yeah, like an artist, like arts, crafts, lights, flashing lights, music. That kind of thing. Right, but uh, yeah, the next piece of equipment that may be arriving, I'm going to do some live stuff, uh, will be uh, the deluge, Shinstrom deluge. Uh, anyway, let's see. I'm trying to think where it's from. It's not Australia. Um, it's not French, but it has a name. <laughs> anyway, let's see. It's like South Africa, I think, somewhere like that. I don't know. <coughs> um, anyway, let's see. So Scorpio, show me what Scorpio's got coming up for the 1st until the 7th. So yeah, talking but not talking. Talking then we're not talking. So as a child, you may not be talking to your mother. You may find it very difficult if you've got an ex here and you're not talking with those. But there seems to be clients that are kind of like turning people down and turning people off and saying sorry, but you know. We can't do it this week, honey. We've got to do it next week, Bunny. As I'm hearing Aunt Bunny and, and Uncle Goo Goo or whatever. But like, Aunt Bunny, come give Aunt Bunny a kiss, honey. That's what I'm hearing. It's like, no, I don't want to kiss you. Some of you find it very difficult to kiss a person or something like that. Or you like Kiss, the band Kiss. Or you might play the guitar or something like that, like me. But, um, oh God, man, I've got those things all over the place as well. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing Kiss. Um, kiss from a rose as well for some reason. Kiss from a rose. Kiss from a rose. Ooh. I know you want to kiss. Something to do with here though, around like things not quite happening with it around that. If you've got, like I said, if you've got ex, obviously, but if you are a child of a mother, you don't get on with them. This is not speaking because this is turning someone off and turning someone down. I'm sorry, but I can't. Okay. So, but it's only delayed a little bit, but it's like. I don't know. I don't think I can. Should I reach out? No. Shall I talk? No. Do I want to talk? No. Am I a sphincter? Yep. Which one's that? Well, it depends on where this person speaks from. Which sphincter is it? Now, you've got three. <laughs> right? Well, actually, I don't know if your ears are classed as sphincters. No, because they don't really move. But, like, uh, which, which sphincter is this person speaking from? Because that's probably why they're not speaking to it. Because it might where it's deposited quite a lot of money, like, man, that's no but shit, really. <laughs> you know, so, uh, anyway, let's just get on with your reading. Scorpio. You have to give me time, you see? You have to give me time. I'm hearing that also, but as a channel, you have to give me time, right? I always believe that some people are in so much of a rush just so before they click off to go to another one, and then another one that some people don't stick around in order to get the, the essence of me taking my time to do a reading for people. <laughs> I'm trying to give you my energy and my time and some entertainment and everything else as well, guys. So always look at that as well. Okay, things do come out in time, but I'm hearing that like, I just need a little bit of time, man. I need a little time to work it out. Funny how the milk turns sour, isn't it, pussy? <laughs> so, like, well, funny how that milk turns sour very quick, isn't it, Leo? Someone, someone like a sour puss or, or Sal, the name Sal or Sally. Okay, or just, I don't know, it could be anything. Let's have a look. Scorpio, what's coming up from the first week? So, oh, 
<laughs> that's why the milk turns fucking sour. Some of you got divorced very quickly. <laughs> so, I don't know, like I said, yeah, I've got to look for that number two wherever it is somewhere because that's the major arcana card. So, if you're, oh, sorry for everybody. Again, life path number, their life path number. Add those both together, come up with this number, find the major arcana card, and then there's the reading. If it happens to be a number two, there you go. Life path, life path, add them together, it comes to number two. There's the major arcana. So you can watch a Libra reading, but it would also be in this one. Okay, this is divorce. This is things really not happening quite very well, like at work. Some of you have got like this manager that came up for a Libra reading that was around managing things and being a manager and someone being sacked and now like basically someone new is about to come. This is why I'm saying it's about to happen. Things are going to be changing around work, schedules, your schedule. If you're looking for work but you haven't found it, that might be where you try to get a job but suddenly life had no meaning to me anymore and this is a turned down turned off breakup situation not speaking divorced separated fucking just can't get through to the person you feel like you're flushed out okay just like um i lost this might be where you went to court or somebody because i can't tell you who but somebody here would have gone to court and they would have lost like completely lost now it's kind of like that ultimatum energy of like look you either speak now or you lose me forever trevor so I think that someone's like, well, to be quite honest with you, you lost me anyway. So it's kind of like that, you know, the better the devil you are is the person that you know very well. And who that, whoever that is could be at work and it could be a lover or a mother, okay? Because this could be a child and a mother. You might have a right beef with your child or like the child also with the mother. Because trust me, both of these see each other as batshit crazy. And I ain't kidding you. Both of these two people here... See, don't take it personally when it comes to reading. It depends what you're relating with. But both of these people in this card see each other as batshit crazy here. Okay, now, it might not mean these two people, but it could be these two people that are connected in your environment of what comes up through your reading. Because this can be like mother and child, and I just seem to look after my child all the time, and I'm trying to get away from my husband. I'm trying to get away from work. I'm trying to get away from this divorce. I'm trying to get away with things at court and blah, blah, blah. But this is like caught red-handed, right? So you've kind of got this, um, and they're not all in reverse, but you've kind of got this, um, you know, where, like I said, it might have been like this uh, manager that came in and pretty much, because this is someone that can fuck up the rotor. This is puff, puff, give. Puff, puff, give. Man, they are fucking up the rotation. So you messed up the rotor. Somebody messed up the rotor that much that it changed everybody and pissed them off because everybody got like extra workload, but others didn't. It wasn't distributed fairly. Now, if you sell a lot of things and stuff like that, it feels like that people are being mistreated and overcharged also possibly here. But it would be around this energy of Libra because it would mean around buying and selling because this can be someone that's very hard to talk to, very hard to reach, very hard to actually ever like because it can be trevor but it can be like i said very hard to also uh compare to you like chris or chris cornell but like i said it can be because this is pride and i'm way too prideful and everything is way too expensive i can't tell you but what i'm hearing is is though that it's kind of like um like you can't touch me because this <laughs> this could be mc hammer okay but like um it can be like the crumb of the crop also, like, I have got high standards and I've got a lot at stake to lose. So you're not coming in. You're not getting in. You're not getting out. Okay? If you're in, you're in. If you're out, you're out. Right? But, like, it might be the crib of the crop where people have got a lot to, to lose around business and money and finances. Because, like I told you all, the more you have, okay, the more you worry about losing it. So you have to keep it. So you have to keep up with work. Okay? So, like, when you have things like YouTube channels and stuff like that, it's very hard to, when you're up the top, it's slightly easier, but you have such a work ethic where you, you constantly need a break, maybe, like, because you, you, you can have burnout some here. I'm also hearing Bernie or burnout. <coughs> uh, but this, like I said, this can be people where they've got so much to lose that they just, it's like a work ethic, it's a strict one. Okay, so, uh, I've got so much to lose, too much to lose, too much to do. That's what I'm saying. Some people here are also mothers and they're working a lot and they're not having time for their children because they're at work 24 seven. Okay, so they're not having time for their children or their child is and they don't have time for their mother. 
but it's kind of like that. I need a little time. I need a break. I need. To, I'm having burnout. I, you know, I need to have a day off at least one day off. Okay. I'm also hearing Colin or Day or One Day. One day in your life, you will find the word Michael, Mike, Michael, or Jackie or Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine. But one day in my life, Mike or um, John, Lennon, uh, Lenny. Can you hear him? Lenny Henry also. Lenny Henry. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, um, yeah, not getting on with son, mother, daughter, divorce, finding it. Well, like I said, it, it might not be. If not, this is just work, 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 work. Keeping what I've got, keeping it to myself, not speaking, not talking. Okay, keeping my clients, my people, my job, my business, keeping it all to myself and telling people a sphincter says what? Mind your own sphincter. If it comes out from that knot, then I'm afraid not, and then you're dealing with the Pisces. For a lot of you, afraid not, sorry, but I am not speaking out of any hole whatsoever. <laughs> Closed. <laughs> so some of you might be closing shop or uh, shutting shop up or down because what I'm hearing is, is like your work seems to be like where everybody's just having a go at everybody all the time, like ring, 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 moan, ring, bitch, moan, and moaning and bitching and everything else and every day I'm hustling. <laughs> so the hustler. The hustler I'm hearing, the hustle, the hustle. Russell, Russell Crowe, Brandon Lee, Russell, or like uh, hustling. Every day I'm hustling, hustling, I'm hearing hustle. Hustle, 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 hustle. Shh. Shut your sphincter is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Every day I'm hustling. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? That's what I'm hearing. Well, I don't really care. You'll hustle all you like. Okay. Seems a bit dodgy to me, <laughs> you know? So, uh, I don't know. It depends on what flavour it is. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a vape shop, I'm hearing. Well, it depends what flavour it is. Well, what flavour would you like? Hello, madam. Yeah, what flavour it is? Uh, yeah, I'd like a little bit of, like, custard and cream and blah, blah, blah. There you go. Thanks very much. And they bring it back off when they're like, oh, fuck me, that ain't no good. And you're like, what, what the fuck are you on about, bruv? You bought it. So it's like, yeah, well, it didn't work. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so I don't know. You could be like me, actually. This could be the hospital also. A hospital. So like anything medical or pharmaceutical also is what I'm kind of now looking at. Don't worry. You've only got two cards. Trust me, I can pretty much read your whole stuff without cards, to be honest. But like, um, you know, um, here, this might be the hospital and it might be some like, they're not answering, which they're not. Right, it might be involving a Pisces. When I got sent my CPAP, Mia, yeah, my, my CPAP, when I got sent that, they didn't send me the little compartment that fits on the side of it to say that it, you put water in it and it distributes uh, water through your gullet, basically, so you don't wake up with dry throat, dry nose and dry mouth and can't swallow for shit. Okay, they didn't send me one of those. So I'm really struggling with that at the moment, trying to remain asleep because of it. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's just getting used to it. But every time I keep ringing the hospital, no one's, no, sorry, the department is like, just leave your name and your number and we'll get back to you. <laughs> I bet you will. Something of alchemy in you or so I'm hearing. Um, but like, um, just leave your name and your number and we'll get back to you. And you're like, well, I have left my name and my number. So I've got your number, bruv. So something like, well, I've got your number in case I want it. So some of you, you've got a rubber in your wallet. Right, or um, you've got their number, which means that you have their number, but you're not using it. <laughs> so it's kind of like, well, I've got their number, but I'm not using it. So <clears throat> unless, I don't know what that is, using. Oh, okay, Libras had a lot to do with drug addiction and stuff like that also around them for quite some time. So I don't know if that is around like uh, using, okay, using, uh, abusing. It, it doesn't have to be that I am using it. It could just mean that I'm in recovery, okay. I'm in recovery, okay, because it's a recovering addict or recovering from something very fucking dramatic, <laughs> okay, but uh, it can be, like I said, it can be stuff like me, you know, um, I'm looking to try and fucking get through to this person, for to the hospital and everything else for them to at least goddamn answer, but they don't, and it's like, well, how the hell am I supposed to get used to using this thing if you haven't sent me one of those? Now, I can buy one, but they're 65 quid for me to buy it, <sighs> man. £65 for a little plastic bit of see-through stuff with holds a little bit of water in it. Or I can try and wait for God knows how long to try and get through to this hospital to just give me one of these bloody things that fit in the side of it. But 
it's really annoying me because I thought I'd got everything right and just as I'm trying to get used to using it, it's doing nothing but making me have this dry throat. So uh, I've done all I can. I've gone out and I've bought like a home medics, uh, well, just to try and purify this air, but of course it ain't gonna do anything really. Anyway, why am I sitting here talking about myself? Well, I am a Scorpio rising, so yeah, I'm having a bitch and a moan breath. <laughs> so calm your tits. Take a seat, take a good slide. Oh, just take a, take a, just, I'm um, hearing, just take a ticket, madam, and I'll be right with you. Just take one of these little, like, I keep picking up where you go to, like, uh, Tesco's or something, and you go to the meat counter, a bit like, um, a bit like, <laughs> a bit like phone jacker. Hello, it's the meat counter, and I'm stuck in the lift, bruv. What do you mean you're stuck in the lift? This is Tesco's, bruv. It's like, yeah, well, can you put me through? Oh, bruv, this bruv's stuck in the lift. <laughs> I really hope you've seen it. But you know when you, like, um, I'm also getting a film as well. But you know when you come up and you get one of those little tickets and you pull it off, pull it off and it says uh, number 34 or something like that, okay? And then you have to sit and wait for your number to come up. And it's a bit like that film, uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, where right at the end they're all got shrunken heads and he comes in and he takes a ticket and he has to sit and wait for like 50 years. <laughs> so it's like that. It's like, man, I'm having to sit and wait to talk to this person for like 50 years. So, I mean, I haven't spoke to you in like 50 years. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, this person could be 50. Anyway, Scorpio. So we are gonna to start to look at your partner and their reaction to this <laughs> fucking mess. But like, I mean, it isn't really. It depends on what message you're looking for, you know. But because uh, I can never contain to them all, I have other readings to do. But <laughs> I could sit here and tell you thousands. But like, um, you know, here, y'all got like clients here, some leaving, some coming in. This is where everybody, some people decide to leave my Patreon and then rejoin. Or new people come and go, but new people come and go all the time, people. So it's like, I want to live like common people. I want to do what common people do. Jarvis or Cocker? <laughs> I very much doubt anyone's called Cocker. You right there, Cocker? Or like Cock Blocker, Cock Blocker. I'm hearing Cocker or Rocker or Cock Blocker. You Cock Blocker. I'm hearing Cock Blocking Beats. Just give me that Cock Rocking Beat. Someone's got a hard cock, whatever it is. Now, it could be a cockerel. I don't know, but I'm hearing the cockerel and the hen or something. Uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Please tell me you guys are not doing egg rituals. Come on, I had to go at Libra. <laughs> I had to go at Libra for that. Sorry, might be a bit harsh, but come on. Anyway, something to do with uh, here, cock rocking beats or something, like break beat. I mean, that's pretty much what I make, break beat. Um, but like break beat or breaking the bank, I don't know. But I ain't, I ain't cock block. <laughs> this is a cock block right here that I've got to show you. <laughs> This is being cock block. You cock blocker. Like, because this is no and this is yes. <laughs> so someone could be doing, I'm doing my own cards and I keep looking for yes or no and yes and no and yes and no. You're going to fuck yourselves right up. If you're doing tarot cards on yourself, I would advise stop doing it, really. Because you'll alter your life around the message that you're looking for and you probably won't want to hear what you're getting and you'll start to alter your life around the future <laughs> and you'll just fuck yourselves up here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, as a, Somebody that's done this for multiple years, has had seven twin flames, has had over a hundred awakenings, I can advise you that doing your own tarot card readings on yourself is really not a good idea. It's really not a great idea, okay? Even a very experienced one like myself don't do my own, okay? But like, um, <laughs> this is no, this is yes, this is no, this is yes. So this is a cock block right here. <laughs> right? So uh, like I said, you might be on that thing of like, somebody's with their karmics. <laughs> Y'all just going to blame those people for being men. Men are men. Arseholes are an arsehole. It's a sphincter. They do what they like. Right? Me, I love myself because I'm an arsehole. Right? I embrace being one because I'm a Scorpio rising. So whatever I am, I embrace it. I don't fight against who I am. I like being me. Okay? That's what you learn throughout, is, is that you can't come up false or fake in life, right? Y'all got to stick by your word, stick by who you are. When you are, y'all get people that bitch and moan at you all the time. All the time. Fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> okay? Who dares wins, right? 
So, you know, that's why I was saying the thing about the sphincter. you all got to be who you are, right? Because it, it gives off like, well, I don't really give a fuck. I can do what I like when I want. It's God's creation, for God's sake. God created one man to be individual, right? If you are designed within your chart to say, this is going to be you, Scorpio, because you have this placement, this placement, this placement, this placement, and this placement. That's going to be you. Your situation in life is all mapped out. All you've got to do, basically, is fucking learn to be happy with who you are. A progression of that can be very fucking difficult, right? But when you've got it, and you're like, man, I fucking just love who I am. If I'm an arsehole, I'm an arsehole. Embrace being one, <laughs> okay? Don't be confused of like, man, oh, bruv, straight up no chase, bruv, right? Helps. Neville, but it helps, you know? It's not more of a, I need somebody help. It's like, well, I don't need anyone's help. Fuck off. <laughs> right? I can do it myself. Selfish. Y'all could really be dealing with a Piscean like myself. Right? Selfish. Probably you'd see that as your child being selfish. Right? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> right? But like, um, so let's have a look at the response from the other person that's connected with Scorpio from this side. Show me the response of the other person. This is where everyone's like, I don't really care. <laughs> anyway, uh, show me the response of the other person connected with Scorpio, please. So, well, this person here has got the Six of Swords. Gemini, Capricorn feeling. But like, right in the night, I'm hearing right in the night you'll find... But like, can you find me in the, can you find me in the dark, Virgo? No, you're always in the dark. It's like, well, can we go dancing in the dark? Would you dance with the devil in the dark? Would you dance with a devil in the dark? Fuck, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> but like, uh, would you dance with me in the dark? Right. Anyway, we're in Tiny Dancer. Tiny Dance. Boom, boom, boom. Um, boom, boom, boom. Um, anyway, Six of Swords, yeah, well, um, well, just basically you could be making plans to go away. This could be I'm trying to get away from the mother, trying to get away from the in-laws, outlaws, like in anybody, the law, trying to escape prison, trying to get away with it, okay, trying to not speak to this person, because that's what it is here. I'm trying to get away with not speaking with someone, right, I don't want to, but I do, right, that's why, because this could be an individual story, but this is someone that you are talking to. Right, here. So I am talking to somebody, but I'm just not talking to you, boo. Okay. So that could be you, that could be someone else. Right. It's in your reading. <coughs> so, show me the response of the other person that's connected with Scorpio. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> what? You see, Normally, when I get a lot of like cards that don't make much sense, that's why Libras get that quite a lot, <laughs> right? Cards that don't make any, right? That normally means for me, like if cards are like completely not really, I can't follow a fucking story, that's because like there's control and narcissism and it ain't going to make any fucking sense. Like it won't. Like the cards won't. Yo, as a human being, will about make sense of it. But me trying to like tell you your story ain't going to make much sense because it'll all come up mainly with a strong energy, which is the one that you try to avoid. Okay. So, you know, y'all can look at this as a twin flame fucking reading if you want. <laughs> you can do what you like with it. <laughs> but, you know, this could be, like I said, a, a, a person, and this could be a person. Right? It could be a feminine, masculine, but y'all confused to shit. This could be a same-sex relationship as well. But like, um, you know, whichever the story comes, y'all really not getting on with a mother or a father or my ex. Fucking no way. <laughs> no way, Jose. That's, this is not a fucking yes situation because this is a no. But the trouble is, this is a yes. <laughs> so y'all doing the fucking Libra like jiggle, ain't you? <laughs> like yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no. I mean, is this a breakup, makeup situation of like fight, reconcile, fight? reconcile, talk, not talk, speak when spoke to, fuck off, don't want to know, okay, I'll just see you in passing in the hallway, but, okay. you're right, yeah, 
But anyway, let me get on with my own shit. <laughs> you know, that. Let me just avoid you and just back and get on and be myself. That's it, pretty much. Right? But like I said, when you're all arguing with anybody and you, you at north and south, <clears throat> when you're at north and south, no matter what reading you look at, when you're at north and south, when you get a component of fight, that'll come up in your readings. That means basically that uh, y'all y'all gonna be fighting for hammer and fucking tongue to to avoid each other. You will both see each other appear up as where that person would probably watch this and say fuck yeah, it's that person, and they would look for those messages and go yep they're not speaking to me they they're so arrogant they say blah 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 yeah that's my mum yeah that's my beard yeah, that's y'all both see each other as batshit crazy basically that you're avoiding one another. But north and south, <clears throat> if you look at it as a piece of paper. Like the film, you ain't gonna need eyes where you're going, right? So when you look at a piece of paper, I used to teach it with a plate, but right, the world of North Node, South Node, right? They ain't never, they don't never meet. The world won't ever collapse where they actually physically meet each other. It works off an axis, okay? So I'm not giving access, not access to children, not access, no access, no, 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 no. Don't want to listen. Don't want to know. Don't fucking know. What I do know is, is that if a North and South have actually met then you've met your match, which means it's going to be very difficult to get away from because that's either a, uh, a marriage, okay, and you've had children with a person and you took that step of what I said years ago, don't do, but a lot of people have done that, right? Don't worry about it. But like a, or like a mother-father situation, we met, of course we did, because we give birth and we can fucking never seem to get away and then get back and it's like a unicorn. Just like like a oh, just could just fucking like oh. <laughs> like that, right? Like trying to get away from that energy just pulls you straight back, and then like you you like just it's like like looking at the person going fucking bravo, right? So. <clears throat> you'll never get away from that. Once you've met, it's very difficult to. This is just a fucking. Twin flame. <laughs> but like, if this is just a love interest, man, just dump their ass and move on with another person. Because y'all not compatible. Y'all not compatible. But can I say that and you can do that? Can you do that? How long's a piece of string? How long's your karma? <laughs> That's a good one. How long is your karma anyway? <laughs> Some people think it's curable. Anyway, <laughs> but popular belief is it fuck. Anyway, so that's your reading so far. It's basically just entertainment purposes uh, there, uh, Scorpio. I'm going to get serious with your, uh, if you pay, and this is where I normally get serious now. So we kind of like uh, clarify this bit, clarify this bit, look at the whole story, look at this story as one, look at this story as one, try to find out other information of stories that come out, all kinds of things, really. But if you want to join, it's the full access bundle only, and that is where all weekly energies after the monthlies go. So everything goes to the full access bundle constantly. So you can check them all out. Summary Rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, and your numerology numbers if you know them all. And then how I do that and adding them up, you know, I can watch them also for a month or whatever. But it's all there, okay? It's backlog. So if you want to join your can, there's a video that does explain all that in below anyway. Uh, there are loads of videos all linked to different places that you can watch. Educational videos, playlists, God knows what, personal readings. It's all in the show more section. But the link to Patreon is in the show more section. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next round.